Hi guys, I welcome you all to the uh, free mentorship program by Tech Table in Data Science. So now I'll run you through the syllabus of this course. So in week one we have uh, a introduction and uh, data pre-processing and data cleaning. So first you need to understand what is a data, uh, what is a data set. Uh, basically when facts and stats are collected together for analysis and we have it in a structured manner, we call it a data set. And here main tool will be using is Python and will be using Jupyter Notebook. So I would recommend everyone to download Anaconda and use Jupyter Notebook. Uh, don't worry, we we'll share those materials with you, how to download and stuff like that. Uh, so data will be, uh, you know, uh, the data which is available be in different formats like the JSON, CSV, Parquet. So these are different formats in which data will be present. And here we'll be mostly concentrating on CSV format. So you need to uh, know to import and work on it. Also, there are uh, important libraries and packages which you need to know, like uh, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, Scikit-learn. So NumPy is a library for efficient array computations. Uh, arrays differ from plain Python lists in the way they are stored and handled actually. So Pandas library is good for analyzing tabular data. You can use it for uh, EDA, exploratory data analysis, statistics, visualization, etc. And scikit-learn is collection of advanced machine learning algorithms for Python. It is also built upon uh, NumPy and SciPy. Matplotlib is mainly used for visualization purposes. So if you want to understand the data, you have you know, used Pandas, you want to use this data to train a machine learning algorithm, use scikit-learn. If you're doing some other scientific or engineering calculation, use SciPy. If you want to plot the data, use Matplotlib. So, this is it about the uh, libraries and packages and also like uh, the data which you get is not perfect. Most 99% of the times it is not perfect. So what you have to do is you have to uh, clean and do the pre-processing stuff. So now I'll uh, explain you through an example which will be better way of understanding. So this is the Jupyter Notebook I was talking about. Uh, in the first step, you import the packages and here I'm reading the NBA data and here you can see like some data are missing, right? In salary column, you see this data is missing and some colleges are missing and many more. So what do you do in these cases? So this is where data cleaning comes in. So, so like for an example, if you take the salary column, we'll use different types to fill this NAND value. So you need to act according to the situation. Like uh, I'll give you some cases. Like you can take the mean of the salary column and uh, do it, or else you can do the backfill operation, which you know just the uh, filling the one one. 48640 about so yeah uh, these are the different cases uh, which you'll be learning so and also you'll be learning about data formatting data normalization binning etc so now uh, coming to the week two uh, which is exploratory data analysis we call it a EDA so if you see uh, EDA helps to answer all these questions uh, like ensuring the best outcomes for the project it is an approach for summarizing visualizing and becoming uh, intimately familiar with the important characteristics of a data set so EDA is a valuable to a data science project since it allows to get closer to the uh, certainty that the future results will be uh, valid uh, correctly interpreted and applicable to the 
they say it's not x so and gd also mainly uh, helps you to find the insights of the data and in gd yeah, like we uh, we see many uh, regression uh, we talk about simple uh, and multiple linear regression logistic regression and many stuff so now i'll show you an example of a linear regression so uh, don't so this is just an example uh, so if you see here uh, for the increase in x value there is also an increase in y value so basically what linear regression is linear regression useful for finding relation between two continuous variables this a uh, and also you can say so also a way to explain the relation between a dependent variable which is y axis and independent variable which is x axis using a straight line so here you can see so the core idea is to obtain a line that best fits the data the best fit line is the one for which Uh, the total prediction error you'd call it or as small as possible uh, error is the distance between the point to the regression line so don't worry you'll be uh, familiar when you learn it so this is what we'll be learning in eda and going to the third week we will be learning about data visualization data visualization is the representation of data or information in a, a graph chart or other visual format it communicates relationship of the data with images so this this is important because it allows trends and patterns to be more easily seen with the rise of big data upon us uh, we need to be able to interpret increasingly larger batches of data so uh and also data visualization is not only important for data scientists alone it is necessary to understand data visualization in any career uh, whether you work in finance marketing tech design or anything else you need to visualize data uh, that fact shows the importance of data visualization so like how is data visualization used uh, like we can for example uh, in cases like when the data changes over time uh, then for determining the frequency of the data determining the relationship the correlation and analyzing value and risk and many cases and we also need to know which graph to use it when that is very very important so now i'll show you one small uh, graph yeah so this will be very uh, helpful in understanding like uh, in which cases we have to use which graph so if you see here suppose let's say you need to know the distribution of two data so when you know when you need to know about distribution of two data and uh, it has two variables you use scatter plot and when you want to know the comparison of two day over a time period of which has like very long period you use column chart or line chart so this graph will be very very helpful uh, for you so uh, this also will be shared in the material and finally uh, in the fourth week uh, we'll have a mini project so like as of now we have decided we'll be having two basic simple projects one is Uh, how sales in usa and other is titanic survival analysis so uh, i already told you uh, about the titanic survival analysis you will have a uh, titanic uh, data i will show you i have this yeah so if you see i have imported the titanic data so in the titanic data you will have a oh, passenger id uh, did he survive or not the survival is Uh, categorical variable you'll have if it's zero he has not survived and one means he has survived and you have his name or his sex age and ticket fare and yeah everything 
so you will have this as your final project so i am not doing any other stuff i'm just showing you the data so just to give you an idea of how the final project will be so based on your learning you will be uh, working on it you use visualization you use uh, the first coming from the beginning you uh, do the pre processing cleaning and do the eda the eda will be using data visualization find the correlation of it so this will be pretty much about your final project and coming to the uh, a data analysis course by ibm i just show you so like you it will be week wise a course so in week wise you will be uh, taught about whatever i have told you so like first you will be given videos and you will have a lab session and finally you will have a quiz so when you complete all the seven weeks you will get the course certificate yeah so uh thank you uh, this is pretty much about the course if you have any doubts uh, you can ask